Welcome back. This morning we have a 2021. It is a Forest River Cherokee Arctic Wolf uh, Limited Edition. It is a sweet model, 3660 sweet. I'm just going to show you a little bit on the exterior. Um, do have some motion lights that flip on, all that good stuff. Huge storage. I guess that was uh, probably the biggest reason for me wanting to uh, step back and actually show you a little bit on the exterior. Looks like they've gone back to the uh, fridge and freezer combo, so plenty of space in there. He's got a little pull out uh, water spot. Of course, you got your quick connect hose in that drawer. Rest is history, so to speak. All right, instead of walking best past around it, I'm gonna get you directly in. And again, about 11,000 pounds, so it's not even that heavy. I suppose I should have had that door shut, but when you walk in, you will be greeted with uh, their control panels here. It does have a solar panel on the roof. We're taking a charge right now. 77 degrees, so nice and toasty. Uh, this one does have a uh, second air conditioner, so there will be another thermostat up in the front bedroom. Kind of lets you do your own thing, sleep in a cooler area, all that good stuff. That's what I like. Uh, this area, you can use it for sleeping. This is a trifold bed, so it'll pretty much come out and make this whole room into a sleeping area with the bunk on top. And I know someone will ask this, so 300 pound capacity. Of course, prepped and ready to go with a television, all that good stuff. All right, rear living area slash kitchen. So I like what they do with the blue lights in these. I am, uh, as you guys may or may not know, a little more apt to uh, sway towards the clear lighting just because I think it looks cleaner, but they do a very good job with the blue in here. Um, I do have the shades drawn. They are the zebra shades, so one hand up, one hand down, real nice and easy. Uh, we don't order them in with televisions. Most people uh, have a particular preference. TVs are pretty uh, inexpensive these days, and usually when we go to build these, if they're not coming with uh, with a special, it's probably costing us around eight hundred plus dollars to add that in here. And well, again, not a good way of spending either of our money. There is actually a really cool feature in this uh, kitchen. I don't want to say island, but peninsula, and uh, I guess I'll get to it now. So when you open it up, the blue light that shines on the other side through the glass actually lights this up for you so you can kind of see in there. So this is the, the blue light I'm talking about. It's got that clear panel, panel plastic kind of thing and then it kind of shines down below. I don't know if that was intentional or just really happened to work out, but I am a fan. So of course, everyone's aware, standard 12 volt fridges nowadays and just about anything. Um, hand sanitization instead of a soap dispenser, now that uh, we are where we are. Ceiling fan, speakers up here glow blue, all that good stuff. There's a blue backlit up underneath the slides. And then uh, I guess I'm going to point this out too as long as it's here. That is uh, dubbed as a subwoofer, so you should get a little bit better sound. Uh, coat rack right when you walk in. I guess I should have done a better job of showing that. There's a pull-out ladder here. So uh, the munchkins can get up to the loft area. Pretty straightforward. It's not open looking over the living room, which I like. Some of them open those up and well, then you'll get nosy kids and you know how that goes. Moving on into the bathroom. Does have some motion sensor lights, medicine cabinets. This is actually kind of cool. It's locked up, but let's uh, a little sliding farm door. So there is a gap up here. If you're a particular person, I mean that the ground is pretty low. The top has just got that gap. So depending upon your uh, your thoughts, that's either not an issue or a concern. Big fan in here. So plenty of. Uh, I don't want to say smell sucking power, but smell sucking power. Nice big bed is setting up here. Um, this is where you have your bedroom control for that AC that is right there. And then we will move over to the closet, prep for washer dryer. Uh, they do a really good job with power and USB ports and all that good stuff. 
I can't say the same about lighting because there are none. <coughs> I'm zipping around here. You gotta have your your dresser thing set in there. Place for a television again, all ready and prepped and ready to go. Uh, your front closet is just that. It is a closet. And there is a huge amount of walk around room here. Kind of see plenty of space there so you'll have shoe kicks cubbies hanging all that good stuff apparently in this light but other than that it's got a pretty massive bedroom and this is probably the only place where you don't have the zebra shades you have these uh little pull downs classic throwbacks we'll call them but that is this unit as a whole. Again, quick look. Uh, the delivery driver did just drop it off. I, I'd show you, but it's probably not as important as spending the extra couple moments on the camper itself. So that is exactly what I will do. Happy camping.